Hey everybody, Mr. Bowman here. This is the final um, achieved question video for the 3.13 probability concepts and all of these are from the 2023 exam. Um, in future years I might make some more of these. We've got a third in stats class so we're going to get straight into question number 12. Um, so we've got two schools, one in the north, one in the south and they've got a combined of 9, 10, sorry 9, 11 and 13 students, 157 of them in total. They ask them if they like coffee or not. I would definitely be in the do not do not like coffee section. Um, use the results to find out the probability that a random student being a 9, 10 or 11 if they stated they do not like coffee. So this one's going to be a bit weird. It's a given than question. So we're trying to find the probability that they're a 9, year 9 or 11 given they don't like coffee. So given they're in C dash. And this question here, nothing fancy we need to do. We're just going to use our usual F over T approach. Um, favorable outcomes over total outcomes. So let's start off with the total outcomes. So we're only interested in all the coffee drinkers. So we need to add together these three numbers here. Um, drop my pen as I'm doing that. And that adds up to 111. 1, 1, 1. So of these 111 students who don't like coffee, who are from year 9 and year 11 so that's going to be these two here so that combined to 81 so 81 out of the non-coffee drinkers are from the 9 and 10, 9 and 11 course or 9 um, I always convert to decimals so I want to go um, 81 divided by 111 is 0 0.7297 and that there had a 4dp rounding so that was a nice quick achieve questions by the standards for this particular exam and now into question 13 i made this bigger and it's going over the heading a little bit just so we can read it um so 510 people are part of the survey um part of the survey it's whether they are in a rural area or an urban area we can see those down the bottom there and part of the other survey is whether they prefer to have the coffee at home or in a cafe and we can see the color code cafe and home um, we've been asked at the bottom find the probability of a person who lives in a urban area they would prefer to have their coffee at the cafe so this is going to be one of in terms of notation rather this is going to be probability that they like c for cafe given they're in an urban area so u for urban um, this one here probably the easiest achieve mark i've seen in a 3.13 um, exam because we've got groups already so you know here and here that adds to one um, the urban people are over here and the cafe people of the urban ones are here. So the answer, no jokes, we're going to go straight to 0 0.515. And you've got the answer. So we are now on to question number 14, which is the last exam, or the last achieved question of this 2023 exam. Um, so let's break down the question. So we've got three friends. Um, so three is a number, so I'll probably underline that. They meet for a copy a coffee at a cafe once a week. Um, the system they have for deciding on who will pay for the, all three coffees is them flipping a coin. So it sounds like all three of them are going to flip a coin. The friend who flips the different result to the other two will be considered the odd one out and they've got to pay for all three coffees. Calculate the probability that no one is the odd one out and the three friends will have to flip the coin again. Okay, so this one here, I didn't quite know where to start. So what I did is I started writing down all of the combinations of coins that could have happened. And once I did that, that made a bit more sense. Um, so the first combination was heads, 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 and heads, heads, heads. So there's no odd person out there. All of them flip the exact same coin. So that would be an example of when they would need to flip again. So the next one was heads, heads, tails. And this is when it clicked to me what the question was getting at. Um, so there's, you know, one person here got a tail. So whoever flicked that tail is the one buying all the coffees. Um, and then we could have, for example, could have had heads, um, tails, heads. Again, that person who got the tails there, that's the odd person out buying the coffees. And then we had tails, heads, heads. Um, and then again, we found the odd person out. And then focusing on the tail options we've got tails 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 so no odd one out there so that's where they're flipping again then we've got tails tails heads so whoever got that heads there is going to be the odd one out 
And then we've got tails, heads, tails, odd person out in the middle there. They're paying for the coffees. Um, and then we've got heads, tails, tails. And again, that odd person out there. So I was going through all these. I then wondered, how do I know if I've got all the combinations? So I quickly did some maths just to figure out. So using that bottom one down there as an example. So um, heads, two coins could have been in that spot. Two coins could have been here. Two coins could have been here. So each spot had two different options. So two times two times two is eight. So that means I was expecting eight different outcomes. And when I checked all these, I had four up here and four there. So I know I got that correct. So actually answering the question. So find the probability. Um, so the probability that they need to flip again is going to be equal. So there's eight different options in total. And just a reminder, each of these are as likely as the other. So we don't even need to think about the probability of each outcome. We just know that there's eight different ones in total. Of these eight, how many had no odd one out? Well, it was the three heads up here and the three tails here. So those would require a reflip. So it's going to be two out of eight. Um, which is going to be 0 0.25. So that question there was a bit different, not like a typical 3.13 um, probability concepts question, I'll say, um, but a bit of thinking got us there in the end. So hopefully you found it useful. Um, last achieve video for this year, because there's no more exams to do. Um, hopefully you found it useful. Get into the merit stuff if you haven't started already.